Hello everyone, welcome back to the SBRE. We're going to do a recap of the 2017 horror thriller movie titled Berlin Syndrome. In today's video, we're going to follow an Australian backpacker who had a one night stand with a German man, but things took an unexpected turn when she woke up the next day. Will she make it out alive? Let's find out. Make sure to watch the video till the end so you don't miss out on anything. Now just sit back, relax, and enjoy. The movie starts on a train, where a brown-haired woman named Claire is getting ready for her stop. Judging from the bag she's carrying, she seems to be a tourist. After getting off the train, she makes her way to surface level where it appears that she's in Germany. Then Claire is in a dark apartment, looking out through the window at the buildings across the street. Claire is later seen walking down a hall, where someone can be seen speaking a foreign language on the phone. She walks past the woman, giving each other a glance before making her way out to a rooftop. There she sees a couple of people, among them is a man with a drink. The man then invites her to sit with him and his friends. She then begins to talk to the man and his group of friends, and also has a few drinks. She tells them that she's from Brisbane, Australia. Later, the music on the roof is turned up louder while the five people there mingle. They all have a great time until dawn, and the people there start to leave the rooftop with only Claire left there alone. She takes out her camera and begins taking photos of her surroundings and dancing alone. Later, she wakes up in her room and starts getting ready for the day. Claire goes out on a walk and finds a street vendor where she buys new clothes and some other items. She then continues sightseeing and ends up in a bookstore. After leaving the bookstore, she runs into a man who dropped the books he was carrying. She helps him, and then he offers her the strawberries he was carrying. Then they start chatting by the stoplight and introduce each other. The man, who is an English teacher at a school, introduces himself as Andy. The scene then changes to an urban place, where Andy and Claire are walking in front of small houses with gardens in front of them. Claire then rejects a call from her mom and continues the conversation with Andy, correcting his English with a laugh. While walking, a dog scares Claire, making her jump slightly into Andy's arms. Later, Claire is seen taking a ride home in Andy's car. Claire invites him to drink with her, but he denies. He then touches her hair, and Claire shows signs of discomfort before leaving back to her apartment. She is later shown on her bunk bed, browsing through photos she took in the day and zooming in on a photo of Andy. The very next day, Claire goes out around the town again, and after sitting at a cafe, is back at the same bookstore. She meets Andy there again, and after small talk, they go out together to the same cafe Claire was at before. Andy then takes Claire back to his apartment. There they share an intimate moment and start to have intercourse. The next day we see Andy teaching in class, talking to his students about a book he had told them to read. We then see Claire inside Andy's apartment getting ready to leave before realizing that she's locked inside. Andy later returns to the apartment and Claire asks him if he had intentionally locked her in. The conversation later evolves into another intimate moment between the two, before the scene shifts to a nightclub, then back to the apartment. The next morning in the kitchen, Claire finds the book that she and Andy were reading in the bookstore. Inside, she finds disturbing pictures of a woman. Claire thinks it's her, and checks her back in a mirror to find that a matching tattoo is indeed on her back. Scared, she tries to escape using the key left by Andy, but to no avail. She tries to use her phone, but finds out the SIM card has been taken out of her phone. She tries to break the window using a chair, only to find out that part of the window cannot be broken. Then we see that Andy returns back home, and Claire stops him at the door and says that she wants to leave, but Andy acts like everything is normal even after seeing the broken furniture. Claire keeps trying to talk her way out of the situation, and then we find out that Andy might have taken Claire's words too seriously. Andy keeps acting as if nothing wrong is going on, causing Claire to get even more upset. She lashes out at Andy, forcing him to subdue her. Later on, we see Andy sitting at a lecture and looking at photos of Claire. We find out that it's his father who's lecturing at the moment. Then we see them having dinner together and talking about their daily life. Andy begins talking about Claire to his father, while the scene transitions to Andy tying Claire to a bed. We later see Andy opening a lockbox, storing keys inside it. He gives Claire presents and says that he texted her mother on her behalf. In the morning before Andy leaves, he takes pictures of Claire and leaves her untied inside the house. After he leaves, she starts looking for something to defend herself with and finds a screwdriver under the couch. Then we see Andy coming back home, with Claire sitting in the kitchen doing a puzzle he gave her. Andy sits down and helps her with the puzzle, and when he's done, she stabs him with the screwdriver she found right on his hand. Claire grabs the keys he dropped and runs towards the door to escape. Though injured, Andy chases her down and catches up to her and carries her back to the apartment. Then, we see Andy talking with his father over a game of chess. His father looks at his wound from being stabbed, and he resists. 
Later, Claire and Andy have a small conversation, and Claire tries to convince Andy to let her go again, but he resists once more and takes a photo of her. Andy then goes to school the next day, teaching the boys in PE, but keeping a close eye on the girls doing gymnastics on the other side of the hall. Back at the apartment, Claire is still trying to get out. She finds a paperclip and tries to use it to pick the lock, but fails. Andy later comes home and trims her nails. He's taking care of her wounds as if Claire wants to be locked in his apartment once more. Andy then cleans Claire up in the shower. Later, we see that one of Andy's students, Franca, has come to visit him at his apartment. She is there to confront Andy about looking at her during PE class, but Andy threatens to report her in return. Franca leaves, and Claire asks about who she was to Andy. Andy replies as student, before proceeding to give Claire a haircut. The next day, Andy returns and gives Claire lingerie as a gift. She then starts posing in them for photos, as Andy instructs her, before he asks her to stop as she goes too far. She gets Andy upset, causing him to lash out again, and then leaving the apartment. We later see Claire goofing around in the apartment before the electricity goes out. The following morning, Claire sees that it's begun to snow outside. Andy, meanwhile, was staying over at his father's house. He wakes up to find that his father had died in his sleep. Andy then returns to the apartment to Claire, and she confronts him after his loss. Sometime later, we see Claire making cake and playing the accordion. She seems rather happy. They have a chat over drinks, about how Andy picked Claire as a target. Then after they talk for a bit, Andy brings out a surprise for Claire. Turns out, it's a dog named Lotte. Then, Andy takes Claire out to the forest, and while she's looking at the trees, attempts to kill her with an axe. But he hears someone yelling in the distance and stops. Turns out a boy and his little brother were playing nearby, and the boy comes across Andy and Claire. Andy goes to help, while Claire tells the boy that he needs to call the police and find help for her. The young boy only gets scared, and the mother of the two boys comes there, as Andy figures out what Claire was trying to do. Then they go home, and Claire ends up riding in the car's trunk. We see that Claire tries her best to have fun in her daily life in Andy's apartment, while Andy goes about his life normally. One day, Andy took Lotte for a run and came back without her, telling Claire that she ran away. On New Year's Eve, we see Andy out with his friends at a party. Meanwhile, Claire has managed to unlock the room across from the kitchen in Andy's apartment. She finds a few photo books there, one of her and the other of another woman. In another scene, we see Andy arguing with Yana, where he insults her as if she's being a cheap woman. Yana gets upset and tells him to leave the party. After he makes it out, Andy approaches another woman, but she's very quickly called by her friend, so she leaves. Back at the apartment, Claire sees that there is someone else nearby, so she calls for help. The man tries to help her, but Andy arrives there just in time and gets rid of the man. Andy blames the death on Claire and tells her to help him get rid of the body. Andy then wraps the body up and sets it on fire where Claire watches from the window. Later, we see Andy boarding up the windows to the apartment after Claire broke them the last time. Then, Andy tells Claire to pack her items in a backpack because he's getting the apartment fumigated. Now, Claire burns herself on the stove and Andy goes to look for medicine. This was a distraction as she takes one of Andy's books and hides it while he was looking for some medicine. The next day while Andy was outside the house, he turned off the plumbing to the apartment. At school, we see that Claire had slipped a photo of herself being abused into Franca's notebook, the one she took last night. Franca rushes to report the photo, but she drops it, and her friend next to her notices it. The students start looking at the photo while Franca bikes off from school. Andy notices the commotion, and after asking for the photo, he also goes back in a hurry, even leaving his car on a roadblock. Andy gets back to his apartment and sees his toolbox smashed open on the ground. His apartment was also open and vacant. He's alerted to footsteps in the floor above him, and so he goes to check, taking his crowbar with him. Claire lures him back down into his apartment and locks him inside, as he did to her. Then, Claire goes to rescue Franca, who was hidden in a cupboard upstairs. Franca was really scared, so Claire calms her down and comforts her. Then, they both finally flee, and the scene ends there. At the end of the movie, we see Claire driving around Berlin in a taxi, feeling her freedom and fresh air after a long time. That was it for today, guys. We hope you enjoyed the video. What are your thoughts about this movie? Would you watch it? Have a movie you want us to recap? Let us know in the comments below. And don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this.